If I have fluid flowing through a pipe from left to right, and it's connected to a manometer, and typically this would be filled with something dense like mercury. So if we have this set up, how are we going to use this information to solve the pressure drop across the pipe? To do this, I'm going to start by dividing from left to right the system and call the left A and the right B. I'm then going to divide this into different horizontal sections, starting at the bottom with point zero. We are then going to have the next line, which corresponds to the points on the left-hand side of the manometer where the fluid and the manometer fluid meets. The next one is where the right-hand side meets, and sorry, these should all be horizontal where they meet. And then the last point, sorry, the next two points are going to be the top of the manometer pipe. So that's on the top of the manometer, and the next one will be the pipe itself. And we're going to call those points zero at the bottom. As we do that, zero, one, two, three, and four. What we are now going to do is we are going to work out the pressure on side A as well as side B. So we'll start on the pressure at point A, or on side A rather, and we're going to calculate that at point naught. So that is at the bottom, and we're only looking at side A at the moment. So in order to calculate that, we are going to have the pressure from point zero to one, and that will be the density of the manometer fluid, so I'll call it density of M, multiplied by GH, where H is from zero to one. We're then going to add the next pressure, so that first zero point was that pressure there. We are then going to add from point one to two. So that is now the density of the fluid in the pipe, GH from one to two, so that is the second section. The third one is going to be the same, so it's the pressure of the fluid times G times H from 2 to 3. And then lastly, there is going to be pressure in the pipe, so we need to add the pressure on side A in the fluid itself, which is 4. In the same way, we can calculate the pressure for B at point naught by adding up the portions for rho GH from 0 to 1, from 1 to 2, and 2 to 3, and then adding the pressure on side B for point 4. From this now, we need to have a look at the diagram quickly again. So in this diagram, we've divided up into left and to right, but if we notice that the pressure at the bottom here is going to be the same. So the pressure at the bottom is going to be the same. So that means that the pressure that exerts down from the top to bottom on side A is going to be equal to the pressure exerted on side B. So in other words, the pressure at A at point naught is equal to the pressure of B at point naught. This will only be true when the manometer fluid has settled and there's no longer any movement, or in other words, we're at steady state. So if we're now saying that the pressure of A and B at the bottom is the same, we can take these two equations that we've just got and we can rewrite them as pressure A naught is equal to pressure B naught, and we can take the entire system on the right, or the entire right-hand side of A, and we can make it equal to the entire system of PB naught on the right equal to it. So having written PA naught is equal to PB naught and written all the terms down in front of us, we can now have a look again at the diagram and see what is common. So if we notice on the diagram, the section PA from 0 to 1 is going to be the same as PB from 0 to 1. So we can actually cancel out the row M GH, which is equal to the row M GH on the right hand side. The next section, we now have water or a fluid from the pipe in the left hand side, but on the right hand side we still have the manometer fluid. So the second term has to stay in. The next term around, we then have, or well, the next section from 2 to 3, the fluid in both sections is the same. And when we look at the equation, we have rho F G H 2 to 3 on the left hand side, and rho of the fluid G H from 2 to 3 on the right hand side. So those two can also cancel. So we've now got a simplification of this equation. We are trying to work out what the difference in pressure is across the pipe. So that is the PA 
four term minus the p b four term so that's just moving it across to the left hand side of the equation and what is that equal to it's left with row m g h from one to two and i'll minus so that's moving the row f term from the left hand side onto the right for one to two i can then write that as a change in pressure and some texts because it's a pressure drop will add a minus in front of it is equal to the right hand side which we can factorize as gh i will drop the one to two because that was the naming we had in the diagram was just h and that is then density of the manometer fluid minus the density of the actual fluid and that there will be our final equation and the one that we will use